Hey Minecrafters, welcome back to the channel. Or to the channel if you're new here and to episode 45 in our All the Mods 9 series. So something interesting happened between episodes and I can't wait to tell you all about it. So grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is that you get for while you watch videos. And let's get on with the fun. Alrighty, so as I said in the intro, something happened and I am so excited about it because you guys know that I don't like when my pack is so far behind in updates, right? So I'm going to give the biggest shout out to Phantom because they had mentioned a little bit ago that I could update my pack without having to go one update at a time to catch up. Um, if I just sa save my world, which I always do, and then save my journey map folder, which I did, and then just completely delete my all the mods instance and then re-download it through CurseForge and then re-add my world, re-add the journey map folder and everything should be fine and I all should be working. So you see me in the world, obviously it worked. So <laughs> Phantom, thank you so much. You saved me hours upon hours of headache trying to deal with that stuff. And that's why I was procrastinating against it for so long. So thank you. I appreciate you more than I can possibly put into words. So the biggest of shout outs to you. You're amazing. And we're in, we're, we're on the most recent update. I think it's dot 56. So we went from dot 40 to dot 56. Like that's, you can do the math. <laughs> I was far behind, which means we have quark, which means we have productive trees. <laughs> I didn't know productive trees was added into the pack until I was updating it. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Because if you guys have seen the last episode, I think it was the last episode or the episode before. Actually, I think I've mentioned it twice that I wish productive trees was in this pack. Guess what's in this pack? Oh my god, all the mod stuffs. I absolutely adore you. I am so happy Productive Trees is in this. I cannot wait to go over the different types of trees with you guys. Um, the process, uh, so it's basically, it's very, I can't say this word without <laughs> screwing it up. It's very horticulture based. So you could do it two different ways. You can breed the trees into getting really cool looking trees, or you could, if you have the alchemy table, you can get the, the saplings that way. Obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll be doing it that way to show you the saplings because I'm not going to go through the entire process of breeding the trees. Assuming that this is the same thing that I'm thinking of, the productive trees I've played with before. I'm assuming there's only one, but who knows? We'll have to go go over it and go through it and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so I just that's the really exciting update that I have for you guys. I'm just oh my gosh. I'm so, I can't tell, my, my voice is also going and I, I think I'm getting sick, but I had to record today. I was so unbelievably excited to go over this stuff. So yes, we are in, we have quirk, we have productive trees and whatever else was added, I didn't have time to look. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy productive trees is in this. You guys will see why soon, but um, yeah, show. That's that's that update. Timo and Robert are both looking at me like, girl, you are you are all over the place today. Look at them looking at me. But we have a couple of other comments to go over. <clears throat> and we shall do that right now. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna hear me clear my throat. Oh, it is it has been a, a weird couple of days. And then on top of that, <laughs> I did more of a workout yesterday and my abs are screaming at me, but oh, we are a whole hot mess today, but we are doing it. We are doing it. We still we still gotta push through, you know? So Jack, who is Captain Automation, he has been dubbed Captain Automation. <laughs> His comment was so silly. So in the last episode, I had asked for some help with some applied energistics, kind of like an automation setup and stuff like that. But um, and I had also spoken to CC in, in his comments and I was like, you know, I don't want to give up on AE like I could go back to RS, but I don't want to give up on AE. You know, I kind of want to learn it and stuff. And then I saw what was involved in automating and applied energistics. And I was like, well, that's crazy for one, like crazy in a way of like, I'm not ready for that yet uh, because that's just a whole bunch of craziness. And then Jack mentioned that he, who is like really big into automation and he's actually one of the people that I talk to the most about automation besides CC. Um, he actually does a refined storage main system because the automation is a lot more like compact and easier. And then he does like an applied energistics for his like his, his NBT stuff, which is I have two, obviously. You guys have seen I have two systems. I have one normal one for NBT stuff. Um, so if Captain Automation does it, now I'm a little more comfortable being like, mm, maybe I can go back to refined storage because I do love that refined storage has those add-ons where you can have like the netherite crafter and 
all that stuff so i'm very heavily considering switching our main system back to refined storage because i'm very comfortable with the refined storage auto crafting and those systems and stuff like that and then leaving our nbt system with applied energistics so we can still keep the stuff that i worked on with applied energistics for that so that's what i'm considering but i'm going to go over jack's comment because I'm, I'm babbling again <laughs> So he says, mine ears hath heard the call because I was like, please, my automators, please help me. And he goes in regards to RS versus AE2 and the NBT storage issue, NBT storage is issues, huh, words. I still use refined storage as my main system due to the simplicity it offers and the simplified auto crafting it brings and have a small AE2 system where I store my heavy NBT items, armor, weapons, spell scrolls, spawners, etc. There is also a mod called reborn storage that adds a multi-block structure that scales for auto crafting. Normally, you would need to create many netherite crafters to store your numerous crafting patterns. With the multi-block structure, you store them all in one place. So actually, I forgot to put that on my list. We're going to look up that multi-block structure. Look up reborn storage multi-block. Because, uh, yeah, the, that, as I kind of went over, oops, before I, I started reading his comment, this is, this is where that came from um so with the multi-block structure you store them all in one place which is really really cool and he says however you asked about a quote-unquote simple ae2 crafting setup and here is what i recommend you will need two structures in quotations again to make auto crafting work one crafting storage co-processing tower two assembler pattern provider tower <laughs> Oh, and he showed me pictures at Discord. Oh boy. Uh, for number one, I would recommend a one by one by four tower consisting of one 64K crafting storage and three crafting co-processing units. These can be stacked vertically or um, on each other in any order. For number two, I would recommend a two by two by four tower consisting of eight pattern providers and eight molecular assemblers place two pattern providers diagonal from each other and two molecular assemblers in the opposite spots. This will make a two by two. Then alternate by adding pattern providers on top of the molecular assemblers and vice versa. Build this tower up four tall. <sighs> number one will only require one channel, while number two will require eight channels. I recommend a dense cable coming off your ME controller and you can connect it to the bottom of both structures. If you want a picture, I can get you one quickly. You just need to know the best way to post send it. So that's when you send it to me in Discord. If you want simplicity, I would strongly recommend using refined storage as your main system and have a small AE2 system for the NBT heavy items. That way you can easily build scale with refined storage and not have to worry about cable channel management. And I am very much probably going to do that, even though I said I didn't want to give up on AE. I'm not giving up on AE. I'm just going with what my sanity will hold. <laughs> and seeing that Jack of all people does it this way too, which he is like my my go-to, my main go-to for a lot of my automation stuff, which is why you guys always hear me teasing him about it. Um, it he definitely uh, made me feel a little bit better wanting to go back to refined storage. And I know I have to transfer all of my items, which is fine. I'm fine with that. I, I don't mind just plopping it in, getting all that stuff transferred over not a big deal i do kind of wish there was a block that would allow you to transfer between ae and, R and rs but there isn't so that's fine whatever um it's not like the supersonic disc manipulator you could make for refined storage which by the way that thing is so cool i made like the top tier one and that thing like transferred like eight million items in like no time it was great so anyways i'll do all that in my off time but thank you uh his <laughs> he put a doggy name loop goblin 3 lg3 i love that that's so good and then he says faithfully yours captain automation he's he's really playing into this captain automation role i think it is the cutest thing so thank you jack as always i adore your face you are wonderful um but yeah i'm gonna do a quick cut here because i have to grab something and then we will go to the next comment and then we shall begin the episode Okay, so, sorry, I had to grab something from the kitchen, but the, the second and last comment, because I didn't have a ton of time to write this stuff down, because things have been absolutely crazy, which is probably why I'm getting sick again, but Naughty says, since both AE and RS have the bug with the tag stuff, tools, enchanted books, gems, they, they mean the NBT stuff, would it be simpler to change back to refined storage, as you are more familiar with it, and it's simpler to use? Just have, just again, have two separate storages. So uh, I guess Naughty is kind of going along with the same thing with uh, Jack as well. If you do wish to go with AE though, the simplest form for the auto crafting is still a multi-block setup and consists of molecular assemblers and pattern providers. I can't remember if this is the new block or if it was changed and the setup would just be surrounding a pattern provider with um, molecular assemblers on five sides and then it will be able to do five crafts at once. As for the doggy name, the first that popped into my head was Sploot. Thank you, Naughty. I, that, that name is cute too. So now we have to have a vote because it's either going to be 
Lou Goblin the third or Sploot, but why would it be Lou Goblin the third? I don't think we've had a second. Wait, I don't know. You guys can tell me which one you like better, either Sploot or Lou Goblin the third. You guys can vote and tell me what you like. But yes, let's let, let's let's go in and, and get into the episode. I'm so excited. Okay. So, because of the update and all kinds of stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm so ready for this today. Like, you guys have no idea. Even though I'm feeling like a pile of uber dookie, we are, we've got things to do. Oh, I have stuff in my backpacks. Oh, I also have to go put my chunk destroyer back down because I did reset my mining dimension because all of the Greg Tech ores were moved to the mining dimension um, as, a, as per a recent update. And also, um... We're definitely going to have to go into a different part of the world because there's no more Greg Tech ores in the overworld anymore, which is nice because, uh, yeah, they were those little floating doohickeys were literally everywhere and I hated them and they were the most annoying thing ever. I think it was actually removed a while ago, like the floaty things, but now Greg Tech is completely in, in, the, uh, in the mining dimension. But I forgot to empty my bags. <laughs> It has been an absolute freaking madhouse lately, especially with my brain. Oh my god. Okay, so we have some progress in the Aldemont Star. Let's take a look. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, oh, apotheosis. That's right. They added an apotheosis thing. Right. Okay. Oh my god. We are so far away from this. Oh, my friends, my friends, my friends. We have so much to do. So much hope. God, I didn't, uh, okay. I didn't turn in my mechanism stuff. Oakily dokily artichokily. Let's do this, boop, boop, boop. And then do this, boop, boop, boop. Oh my gosh, all the things, all the things. Give me all the things. So I guess between episodes, what I'm gonna have to do is move my main system, oops. Move my main system to <clears throat> refined storage because I am comfortable with the auto crafting with that, which is fine. I mean, we have, how many items do we have? uh you guys are gonna see that m number moving around because there's things smelting but uh oh, okay th these two don't have anything oh okay okay so oh jeez. wait did, did i oh wait no oh okay that uh, yeah, almost 15 million items okay that's cool yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Listen, listen, Jack and Dottie are encouraging it. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Okay, um, so let's put all this stuff away. Oh crap, I put the wand in there. It's not what I meant to do. There we go. Okay, so, 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 productive trees. I'm gonna show you guys some real cool stuff because these things are cool. So obviously I'm gonna use my alchemy table because uh, I don't have the 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 time to go through that. Now, does productive trees have a book? Because I would like to see if this is the same, <clears throat> the same thing that I'm thinking of. Oh, it's definitely the same mod because there's the candy cane tree. Right, well, it's called the firecracker tree, but I call it the candy cane tree. Look at these leaves. Oh my God. I'm, I'm not going to spoil anything. I just need to see if there's a book. Look at these doors. Oh my God. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. This mod is everything. It adds so much wood. Okay. So one of the things that I really like about biome mods is that a lot of them add a lot of really pretty wood. So like better ends, better nether, my two favorite fabric mods for uh, biome generation and trees and things like that. You guys, if you've been around a long time, you know, I absolutely flip my lid for better end and better nether and an Eden ring because um, <clears throat> Paul Devs is amazing. However, uh, when you have Terralith, Terraformer, or whatever it's called and, and you know, biomes plenty and da 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 da. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Biomes of Plenty adds nice trees as well, but this mod makes up for not having, at least in my, for me, it makes up for not having better end and better nether because it adds so many pretty woods and not just pretty woods. Oh no, 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 no. The bark on the wood, the bark on the trees is gorgeous. The, the leaves are gorgeous. Some of them are like magical. Some of them move. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they put in our, oh no, I don't see them. Is, it, is this like a trimmed version? Because this one is really cool, but that's not the one I'm looking for. That's not the one I'm looking for. Please tell me it's in this. Please, please. There's the flower one. 
That's not the one I'm looking for, though. This purple one is so beautiful. The rainbow gum. Oh, and the rainbow gum and then the purple spiral. But that's not the one I'm looking for. Please be in here. Okay, it's in here. Woo! Okay, I was just, I wasn't far down enough. So the time traveler log, the blue yonder log. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. There's, okay, there is a book. Big book of trees. Can I make this? I don't know if I can make this. I can make this. Okay, good. Where's my eclectic tome? Oh, actually, there's another thing I wanted to show you guys. Uh, it's called the R's. This one right here. Can I make this? I can't. Okay, where's our eclectic tome? Eccentric tome, not eclectic tome. Eccentric, eccentric, eccentric tome. Where are you? I need to show the people the thing and the stuff. That's not the book. Where the heck is the book? Where's my book? Robert, hush. Wait, where, where is my book? Um, where's my book? Help. Where? Where's my book? Am I blind? More than likely, I am just not seeing it. <clears throat> Hold on, where are you? There's my spell book. Oh my gosh, the sniffles. Please. I just, I don't want to be sick. Um, we have a slight problem, friends. Because... Oh my god, other than the fact that I'm getting sick. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> Probably have to cut out a bunch of me coughing. Where is my book? There's Railcraft. I don't want to make another eccentric tome because I have one. I was literally just looking at it earlier. Hold on. I need to look through this. Okay, so I can't find it, but um, the last thing I remember being on it was my Ars Nouveau stuff, and I just, I can't see it. It's literally not in any of my storages. So we're just going to have to make uh, a new one, which is fine, because I need to show you guys what I was talking about before we get started. Uh, unless it's in here somewhere, and I'm just absolutely brain dead and cannot find it. One more quick scan. I don't, yeah, I don't think it is. No, it's not. Okay, that's fine. Let's make the book because <clears throat> we definitely need our ours book. Because, well, I, I guess maybe not really anymore, but I still want to have it. Um, and I am so sorry for sounding all sniffly and icky today. I, I really, really apologize. It's just, it's a mess. My head is a mess. So that, you just stick all your books in like this, like I showed you guys. Um, but the one that I wanted to show you... <clears throat> was uh this one where is it look at how absolutely just i don't know what the, i think they just have a bit of shading around the text and the pictures are just so clean and beautiful looking but just look at this book so this is from um uh, ours ecclesia e ecclesia am i saying that right but gosh look at this i i accidentally found this out because I, I clicked the book in my hand i was trying to put it away and i was like oh my god this is so unbelievably unbelievably visually pleasing a huge shout out to these devs like i don't know what you did to make this look like this but it's so beautiful anyways that that's my little my little moment of just visual amazingness we're gonna have to keep this book in our in our backpack because uh yeah and I have found another nature's compass, I guess, because I forgot that that was there. Oh, man. Okay, let me just quickly just get rid of this. I, I do have to empty these as well and get these into our storage. Um, <clears throat> I forget how to do with the... Oh, God. Is it import from export? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's export, export, too. so import from... Okay. Oh, my gosh, you guys. My If you don't under... If you don't know Creo when she's like sick and not functioning properly, this is Creo when she's sick and not functioning properly. This is pretty much how my brain works or <laughs> fails to work. Yeah. <sighs> welcome. Welcome to uh 
Welcome to the fun zone, friends. Um, I need speed. Speed upgrades. Nope, acceleration. That's not how you spell acceleration. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Today is gonna be a day. Today is going... Oops. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. Are these empty already? Oh, look at... Uh, this is... E that was fast. Okay. Oh, I guess because that one wasn't as full. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, well that was that was quick. I'll have to put the chunk destroyer back at some point. Uh, this should still be going, correct? Are you guys seeing anything go? I must, oh, there we go, the gold. Okay, so we're gonna let this do its thing. That's fine. I'm gonna show you guys the productive tree stuff. So uh, if you have an alchemy table, oh, Robert, you, you are so noisy. I adore you so much, but my good gravy, you are noisy. Uh, we're just gonna turn these guys down to 15. Little Teemo's right there being adorable. We're gonna put this here so we can look at Teemo while we do this. So to do it in the alchemy table, you need, I believe, before it was echo shards and a sapling. So let me just double check. Oh my gosh, I double clicked again. So before, yeah, it was, uh, oh my God. It was echo shards and a sapling. So let's just click any of the saplings here. Yeah, so it is. It's echo shards and just a nor any other sapling. Um, and they they do grow in the botany pots and so on and so forth. It, this one gives apricots or apricots or whatever you say. But uh, yeah, so you do need echo shards. So we actually have, I don't know how many we have, but we might need, we have 75. I think that's going to be enough. I'm not 100% sure. Let's grab the warden. Let's grab this. Let's put him into, we're definitely not gonna need that many blaze things. We have so many blaze thingamabob and boobity boos. Um, we'll just put you in here for now. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we'll just, wait, hold on. Who don't I need? I don't need the mimic. Only had the mimic in there because I was trying to get the, um, the um, brain please. <laughs> the digging claws, but we found them, so good. <laughs> Don't need it anymore. Uh, so this boy, we need him. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Oh, my, look at all the piglish. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is, oh, this is delicious. Uh, look at all of it. It's so good. Now, uh, I have to be careful with the piglish things, though, because I don't want that to go into my backpacks and stack into the blocks, because I don't think you can unstack the blocks. Although, I'm not sure if the, that's important for the all the mod star. I'm not sure. Anywho's. Also, uh, the update um, makes it so you uh, sophisticated backpacks actually changed that you can only have three stack upgrades in your backpack and two stack upgrades in the chest. I actually went into the files and changed that back so I can still have three stack upgrades in my chest and four stack upgrades in my backpack. Um, if you guys know or want to know how to do that, it's really easy. You just go into your sophisticated backpacks and sophisticated storage config files and there's a line um, that you'll see going across. It'll say like stack upgrades, feeding upgrades, so on and so forth. It's at the top. Um, <clears throat> if you have Notepad++, I'm actually going to open it right now and tell you the number because it'll help you guys out to let you know where to change it because if you have like a backpack or a chest or something and you up update your your world i'm not sure if that's going to goober anything or not but i will tell you the number assuming you use notepad plus plus so if you go into your instance then config file and then you go down to uh sophisticated do 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 actually i can't remember if it's in the world or if it's in this no, I think it's actually your world save. Let me just double check that first. Yes. Okay, so actually, sorry. You go into your instance file, you go into your saves, you go into your world, you go into server config. I think. Is it default config? Oh my god, am I leading you guys in the wrong direction? No. Okay, I'm in, I'm in the right spot. Okay, it's server config. And then uh, on line 9... You'll, or sorry, on line eight, you'll see a thing that says max upgrades per storage. And then if you scroll across, you can see um, there's a whole bunch of different ones. It'll tell you, like, just change the number at the end. So mine for my stack upgrades, uh, where is it? So chest stack upgrades, I changed mine to three. I think that one is at two after the update. And then sophisticated backpack server, um, it's line 23. 
Um, and then you'll see jukebox stack furnace. So I changed mine to four. It was three. So yeah, that's where you guys change it. Sorry for the little hubbub at the beginning. Cause for some reason my brain auto auto went to the normal config files. But again, you guys have to give me a bit of a break. I am not feeling well. So <laughs> any who's Let me just quickly empty all of this stuff. And then we do need to get a mechanism set up going. Um, we also need to, actually, I need to show you guys something uh, before we get into anything crazy. So I think it was episode, oh, what was it? Episode 40, I think I was showing you guys like the biome blend and the ominous woods and things like that. You guys saw how purple that grass was, right? How beautifully dark purple that grass was. It matched the trees. It was beautiful. I need to show you something. And I have a bone to pick about this. Hold on. Let's go. Let's head over there. I want you to take a, a look. Just to, just to take a gander and tell me. It just it, obviously this is this is in the I'm recording this in the past. Just to, just take a second. I'm going to give you a quick sec to guess what I'm upset about. Okay? You guys see? Look at the grass. Look at the grass. Look at the color of the grass. From the, the whoop, I smacked my mic. From dot forty to now, I don't know what has happened to the grass in the ominous woods. Which the grass was the main reason I wanted to build in ominous woods because it was dark purple that matched the dark purple trees. <laughs> what is this grass color? And it's not just ominous woods, by the way. It's Moonlit Valley or Moonlight Valley, which had the lilac grass, which is what we were doing in the uh, stream world because I loved the lilac grass. That grass is also more bluey and greeny, which granted it's grass. I get it. But this, there's no such thing as an ominous woods in real life either. Give me back my purple grass. <laughs> what the heck? So I finally found this gorgeously big ominous woods to build in. Now, don't get me wrong, this moss, <clears throat> this moss that I showed you guys, this still turns purple. So this is closer, this purple right here is closer to what this grass was before. I, sh I showed you in episode 40, at the start of episode 40, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go watch episode 40. It's at the start. You you'll see what I'm talking about. This purple is closer to these trees and closer to what this grass used to be. But now, what the heck is this? What is this blue gray, whatever this is, please, please. I don't know what happened. I, I, it's not my shaders because when I turn shaders off, it's still the same color, see? So like, please devs, not, not all the mods devs. You guys didn't do uh, this. I don't, I would never think that the, all the mods devs would have done this. But please, please, Biomes of Plenty Devs, please, 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 I am begging you. If this is something you changed, please change it back. Please give me back my purple grass. I was so excited to build in this biome. So excited. Please. <laughs> give me back my purple grass. It was so pretty. And now the trees don't even match the grass anymore. Look. They're purple. Like, look at this. It doesn't match. <laughs> Anyways. So that, that, that's the little rant I have because I was so upset when I saw that. It took me a minute too because I was like, wait, something seems off. Something doesn't look right. And that's, that's what it was. So I beg of the devs, please, please change it back. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on with the, the productive tree stuff. So we're going to grab some echo shards. We have some, but I'm going to get Mr. Warden here to... We'll do some more echo shards like this. We'll grab ourselves. We have so many saplings. We have so many everythings. Um, let's just use jungle saplings. And we'll go echo shards. There we go. Okay. So if you plop them in here, you'll have a whole list. The only downside to doing it this way is you get every sapling in the game. You don't just get... Um, I mean, that's a good thing. But downside in the sense of it's hard to keep track where you are in the line of the productive trees trees which kind of sucks. Um, so it, it, it is quite amusing trying to keep track, but I'm only doing this because I want to show, 
I love that sound. I'm only doing this because I want to show you guys something. So if you're a fan of the Ebony Woods from uh, Biomes You'll Go, you're going to love this. Where is it? Uh, they are alphabetically ordered, though. So uh, there's uh, they're alphabetically ordered in the sense of... Um, actually, I think all of them are alphabetical. Maybe. Okay, so let's go down to E. Uh, e... E, A, B, C, D, E, alphabet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, is the ebony wood not? Wait, 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 wait. Don't break my heart like this. No, it's here. Here it is. There's the Ceylon ebony and then there's the Myrtle ebony. So I want to go for the Ceylon ebony. Actually, no, I don't. I want to go for Myrtle ebony. Because the Ceylon ebony is white, which is weird. Um, but Myrtle Ebony. So we want to go down to M. Myrtle Ebony. So this one will give the, the pretty, like, black planks. Now, as for the bark and stuff, I'm not... So <laughs> the Ceylon Ebony gives the beautiful dark bark, but this one gives, like, the, the beautiful dark planks. Um, so the other trees I want to show you were the purple ones. So let's see. So let's go to the... Purple Spiral, Purple Crepe, and then we want the Rainbow. Where is it? Rainbow Gum. So um, I'm not going to go through all of the saplings with you right now because we have other stuff to do, but these are the ones that I am going to show you. I think I have a hoe with uh, Nature's Blessing on it. I should have a hoe with Nature's Blessing on it. Not Nature's Blessing 1. Oh, by the way, they also changed the colors of the um, the enchants. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, wow. Wait. We had Fortune 9. Oh, right, right, right. Because I have things on me that up the... Okay, I was like, wait a second. Okay, so, so it shows Fortune 9 plus 3. <clears throat> Oh, wait, is that fortune eight? Fortune eight plus three. So that's nine, 10, 11. Wait, am I forgetting my Roman numerals again? Roman numerals XI. 11, yeah, so eight. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, I am forgetting my Roman numerals again. Okay, so, uh, oh, right, because I think we put our hoe in the. We put our hoe in the, um, the thing. Why does a curse of vanishing on it? What? Uh, okay. Whatever, we'll just put this on here and use this. I don't care. Okay, so let's go somewhere and plant these. I want to show you guys some. Actually, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do the one um, pro. I also just thought that I forgot to record. <laughs> I need to show you guys the other one. Um, let's grab a black ember as well. Let's grab a brack, br brack, a black ember. Um, purple heart's also gorgeous, but I'm not gonna grab that right now. Oh my God, the rainbow gum is just everything. This is very comparable to like the rainbow eucalyptus. Um, <clears throat> that's not the one that I wanted to show you guys. And yes, if you're wondering, the bark does look like this. Like it does, if it, if it moves, it moves. Um, time traveler, so what was, oh God, I just forgot. Time traveler, oh crap. Time Traveler? Oh, no. Oh, Brain, please. Please, please. Time Traveler. What was the other one? There's a slime one, too. Time Traveler. Oh, God, I, I just said it. I just... You know what? Notepad, please. This is, this, is what, this is why we have a notepad. So, Time Traveler. Um, what was the other one? Blue yonder. There's also foggy ones, which are really pretty, but I'm not going to show you guys that one right now. Crap, where is it? I just said it. I literally just said it. Was it the blue yonder? I don't remember. Oh no. This is what happens when Creo is not feeling well. Her brain just goes night fuchsia.
My brain just goes into 20 million directions. Unfortunately. Um... Oh, it was the ember. Right, black ember. That's what it was. <clears throat> so we'll do these ones as well so I can show you kind of up close and personal what it looks like. So black ember, give me that beautiful red tree. There it is. And then blue yonder. Um, blue yonder. Wait, where is it? Wait. Wait. Oh, there it is. Blue yonder. And then night fuchsia. I do like that it's alphabetical. I will give them that. And time traveler. QRST. There's also tree of transformation. You can um now if you guys want to get your 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 Twilight Forest trees, this doesn't count towards the quest line either. At least I don't think it does. You guys are gonna have to do it the, the way that I showed you way, way, way back. But uh, that's fine. But you can get your your trees and stuff there. So let's go somewhere where we can plant these and take a look at how absolutely crazily beautiful they are. Yeah, you can plop them into your, um, your, your, you know, storage drawers and stuff like that. There is one mod that is missing <clears throat> and it's the, um, the botany pots. There's like a, I forget the name of the mod, but it gives you like different tiers of uh, hopper botany pots. Some of them are like crazy expensive to make, but that would actually be a really nice addition as well. I, I, I'm sure they don't have it for a reason, uh, but that would be a really cool addition. Let's go somewhere where there's like a nice big open field. I should have somewhere saved. And I did go through a few of my, my things as well. Didn't quite get to all of them, but let's go find a nice big field. Is it raining? Hold on. Okay, it just started raining. <laughs> I had to shut my window. Okay, so let's just, let's, let's grab our nature's compass and let's go take a look at these trees. I guess we can just go to like a plains or something. The normal plains. Is this going to be good enough? Yeah, this will be good enough. And I'll show you guys how crazy beautiful these are. So we'll do time traveler first. I can let the, the world load in a little bit because the game hates it. Get rid of all this crud. Oh, my bags are not on. Okay, so let's do time traveler first. Oh, look at that. It's just, it's so cool. I need to get these out of my hand. That is so unbelievably cool. It's very trippy. Like that is very trippy, but the fact that like there's such little detail in the the logs, these little things that this is a really cool wood. The leaves are so crazy though. Okay, so let's chop this down, and let's take a look. So that's the time traveler log. That's the planks. How cool is that? Like, listen to the, so the, this kind of sounds like the cherry wood. That's so cool. Oh my God, I'm in love. I'm in love with the, oh my God, this mod is so cool. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, I'm so happy it's in here. Come on, grow. This is the night fuchsia. Oh my gosh, with that PBR, like a raised texture, that looks so, so nice. I can hear my fans going on my computer. So this is, for whatever reason, this tree, this tree's a hefty, a hefty, a hefty lady. But oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's chop it down. So we've got the night fuchsia log, like that. 
you place it down it still does it and yes in the in the storage drawers you can actually see the changing like that as well in the in the preview and here's the planks oh my gosh can you make anything else with these i'm not sure i don't think so no they're just just like normal wood now can i do anything with these in the <gasps> oh my gosh you can use them in the architect's cutter there's no preview for it but oh my gosh if there is a mod compatibility between this and the architects and dome of mortamentum that opens up so many more options for decoration and i also and if you guys are wondering i did add beautify um another furniture mod and fantasy furniture back as well but yeah look at that and with with that 3d texture from the the shaders that's crazy oh my gosh i i love that that looks so nice okay next one so the apricot apricot whatever oh i guess it just kind of looks like a normal tree sort of okay why did i want this one was it for the apricots i think it was or was it for the planks oh the planks that's what it was look at that that's so cool it's very like 70s that's so oh gosh but the, the raised texture that looks so freaking cool okay so the next one the blue yonder wow actually let's let's put a torch down because for some reason it's you can't really see the blue oh my gosh that is so beautiful oh it has oh this has fruit huh does that count towards your your food uh let's see product productive trees scroll down to the bottom wait so here's the fruit okay so these oh okay so that's going to be another way for you guys to get your hearts up as well all the fruits from productive trees count towards your your uh your food your heart count very very cool okay let's take a look are you gonna spare okay let's take a look wow that oh my god that blue that blue is so beautiful i kind of wish we got that blue in the planks Wh excuse me oh my god those planks okay okay i did not know those planks oh my gosh they go for okay i just realized i've been babbling for 45 minutes so i'm I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible but that was actually really 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 cool oh there's the ember i like obviously red and orange are not my favorite colors but this thing is so cool okay let's break that down so that's the log that's the plank Oh, that looks really cool. I know the dragon lovers are going to be all over this. That is so cool. I'm going to go a little bit quicker. My favorite one. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, crap. Got a little overzealous. Got to get rid of this. Man, Ember, please. There we go. So it's not the prettiest tree, but... It's like a very pastel rainbow. However, I do really, really love the planks. The logs are kind of cute too, but they're not my favorite. This is really cool. And of course, all these woods create doors and things like that. So you guys can kind of experiment with, uh, with what you want. Oh, the, the sapling is, that purple is so pretty. So this is a purple crepe. now here's the log here's the wait i thought the purple crepe was wait what wait did i grab the wrong one? Oh, i didn't no i i did i mean i grabbed oh that's okay whatever anyways that looks like <laughs> that's not the one i meant to know 
<laughs> Whatever. Anyways, I don't have time to keep dealing. Oh! Okay, either this tree just spawned bunnies or those bunnies just... T the timing of those bunnies was immaculate. Oh, and it spawned... It does spawn bunnies! Excuse me? Wait. Wait. Does this tree seriously spawn bunnies? Oh my god! This tree spawns bunnies! What? <laughs> If you can see my face right now, I am, I am cracking up. Like this is what, th this tree spawns bunnies. Okay, okay game. Okay devs, the magical purple tree of bunnies. Okay, anyways. Oh my God, I just got so distracted. Okay, uh, anyways, so here's the, here's the log. Oh, poor, poor bunny. Poor bunny fell out of the tree. That is such a beautiful purple. It. Oh, that's so nice. I'm, I, I can't get over the fact that that just spawned bunnies. <laughs> Here's the myrtle ebony. Oh my god. Hello? Oh, is it because the beehive's in the way? Oh crap. I didn't use the silk touch. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, little bee. I'm so sorry. Oh, this one's kind of tall. So there's the log. And there's the planks. Very pretty. Anyways, I have been babbling about trees for too long now. So yeah, let's go and get some other stuff done. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys why I'm so obsessed with this mod and why it's just so unbelievably beautiful. But yeah, oh, oh, this is still, okay. Okay, so that is, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Babbling for 45 minutes about trees. Um, or not really 45 minutes, but you know what I mean. So let's just clear this list so I'm not getting completely overwhelmed by my list. I showed you that. Showed you that. We're going to go to the end and we're going to look for the cork biomes because cork adds those really, really pretty blocks. Um, I showed you guys this. Oh, and I also noticed in the last episode that I completely forgot that you could use the crusher for obsidian. I'm just going to double check that I am not incorrect about that. Because I was like, wait a second. I, I was so overwhelmed with what I was doing that I, um, I didn't think to try using the crusher for the obsidian. Oh, this saved what wait so you can't use the crusher oh so have they made it so you can't you have to go through productive bees or do you have to do it through <clears throat> through um create to get the obsidian dust for greg tech Oh no, I can use my mechanical squeezer to get obsidian dust. Okay, that's good. And then I can use that in the metallurgic infuser for refined. Good, good. I didn't want to have to go and do all that. Okay, so let's go, let's crush some obsidian up. Well, before I forget, because I do want to go further into mechanism today, if I can. Assuming I didn't have anything else I wanted to do. Um, actually, we can get rid of that. We need to set up like a little metallurgic infuser thing, but oh my gosh, we have like no space in here. Oh no. Oh, I didn't think about that. I made an oopsie. I made an uber oopsie. I think I was so, I was so excited about showing you guys all that stuff and i didn't really plan out anything super crazy for the episode so i think what we're going to do is we're going to go through the quest book because like i said i am very i'm about to say i would say very sick but i am feeling very off so it's going to definitely be something that we're gonna do i do want to make those 
sliding doors though. I kind of want to see. I want to see what this looks like in this world if it's been changed. So here's the sliding doors from um um Ad Astra. So these are the Ostrom ones. Now, if you guys want to make like a factory build or whatever, these are the perfect doors. Let me see if there's. I want to see. Um, I love the steel ones. The steel ones are probably one of my favorite because they're like pretty much black. Oh, that's so cool. That's so satisfying. That is so satisfying. Okay, I really wanted to make those. I really wanted to see those. Okay, 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 okay. Distraction over. Oh, the Teru Teru. That's the thing that I wanted to make, right? Teru Teru. All oh, right, because we need to get bit into Batania. Batania is one of the things that we are definitely going to do. I think I might do an episode next episode that'll be Batania because I can plan it out a little bit better. This one's just kind of us just doing a bunch of like quest stuff and going over all of the stuff that I was really excited about. So we're going to go to the end. We're going to go look at Quark stuff. We're going to grab some of those beautiful Quark blocks. Um, then we're going to come back. We're going to do some more of the quest stuff. And the next episode, we're going to get into Batania and we're going to start doing that because we did finish the... The R's quest line, which I'm super happy about. Batania is going to be next. We're going to start on Batania because Batania is one of my favorite mods uh, for magic stuff. Um, <clears throat> so let's head over to the end. I'm going to empty this stuff out. I'll bring you guys back and then we will head over there and get, yeah, and get our, our stuff going and go and check out the updates to that. We're going to put this away because I don't quite need the quarry to or the, the Chunk Destroyer going at the moment, because we have so much stuff. But yeah, I'll bring you guys back in a sec. Okay, so, all done. Now, I also noticed that the fuel for Mad Astra is red now. <laughs> so many things have changed. Okay, let's go over to the end. What am I missing from my hotbar? I guess we can put time in a bottle there. We don't need this. <clears throat> oh, my dank, that's what we're missing. What else are we missing? What else we, I guess we could do this. This feels so naked because we have all these things here. Like, I don't even need my axe, but whatever. Anyways, let's go over to the end. Oh. We have to find an area that's been not uncovered. So we're going to have to go, I guess we can just go south. Yeah, there's all the Greg Tech floaties from before. <laughs> They're just going to immediately stop after. So we uncovered this before they did that update. Oh, look. We're already seeing Quark stuff. Oh, look at it. Oh, she's so pretty. Now, there's something about these blocks, and I can't remember what it was, Something about like you can, am I, am I thinking of the right mod that you can like move along them? Did Chosen talk about something like that? Am I, am I misremembering? Am I, am I going crazy? Is there like something magic thing you can do and you can travel along them or something? I don't remember. Maybe, maybe I'm going crazy. I could be going crazy, but I want all these blocks. Oh, hush. And I actually figured out an answer to what I asked in the last episode about the uh, treasure goblins and the loot with the the, the drigmies um the drigmies weren't farming the like the gems and the gear and stuff uh, you do have to have a treasure goblin as well um for them to actually farm all the other stuff i don't know why i don't know why it's like that but for whatever reason they won't farm the apotheosis stuff from the apotheosis bosses unless there's a treasure goblin there and i don't know why i tested it i i i, I went through and tested it in a creative world and yeah, I had to have an apotheo or a treasure goblin, which I will probably call loot goblin. But um, yeah, it, it was it was very weird. Oh, my bag's not on. <laughs> That'll explain that. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, I found I found the answer to my my question. I figured it out. But yeah, look at all these blocks. So I'm assuming like these will do the same thing as like Aurora blocks and stuff like that, depending on where they're placed. They'll, uh... Do I want to go and grab that boss? 
kind of no and he's gone anyways okay so i think that's the only cork stuff in the end am i misremembering and cork is also that mod that allows you to build blocks like in front of you um as you're building and stuff like that i forget what that's called but it's like a placement thing oh do i want you no not really okay um i think that's it right what else did cork add other than like you know quality of life stuff I, i've honestly never really dove into the mechanics of cork i just know like the quality of life things it adds or some of them anyways um but i've never really kind of discovered anything else about it So for the, the, the quark uh, connoisseurs out there, please let me know what uh, the good things about quark and what it does and what the, the dealio is. Yeah, I think that's it. I think these are like the only blocks. Oh, they look so cool on the mini map though. Look at that. That looks so cool. I'm actually going to put a waystone here. To come and collect this later it's like maya light right oh hush you giant babies all right let's head home that's all i really wanted okay so the next thing oh, what did i say i wanted to do oh yeah the mechanism quest line right 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 okay so let me just double check i do want to look at the wixie stuff as well but we've done enough r's in the last little bit so we can do those later um, we'll do this and then Batania next episode. I wanted to look at the reborn storage multi-block structure, but I'm not going to do that until I get my stuff transferred, um, from this to, uh, refined storage again. So we'll have to do that, uh, for the next one. Do I have obsidian in here? I felt like I had way more obsidian than that. Is obsidian bricks? Oh, okay, because I have it in like blocks here. Okay. I thought I had way more obsidian than this. Am I going crazy? I swore I had more obsidian than this. I must be going crazy, right? Like, I have to be going crazy. Right? <laughs> like, I saw. Did I use it? Like, I just. <laughs> Brain? <laughs> okay oh and i wanted to do the space station too oh my gosh i got so excited about those trees um no i want to do i want to do more mechanism stuff i want to do more mechanism stuff i guess i can kind of set it up like right here again but i do want to set it up in like a little area um maybe we can move it see one of the things that i'm really excited about with refined storage and going back to refined storage is because i can use modular routers oh my god i forgot about the portal sounds ash um because i can automate the the orb with modular routers and a netherite crafter so that's um that's one of the the main reasons that i want to go back over to refined storage i'm sure there's a way to do it as well with applied energistics but again applied energistics is absolutely crazy so and both of the the mods have the issues with nbt so that one's not better than the other um but i, I feel a lot more comfortable with refined storage so i, I would really like to get a uh and I'm, I'm showing these two blocks here because I'm going to put the... The crafter's going to go under here. 
the modular router is going to go here and then the um the refined storage uh what is it called the network adapter connector whatever the heck it's called is going to go right there so um <clears throat> That's how I have it set up in another world. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. And that's actually one of the reasons why I was like, you know, yeah, maybe we'll go back to refined storage because I'm more comfortable setting that up that way. Uh, but yes, we're going to, I guess we can set up a little mechanism thing right here for now. Oh my gosh. I forgot how much power these had. Oh my gosh. Oh, right. Cause my chunk destroyer is not running. I was like, wait, okay, whatever. Anyways. Let's grab our mechanism stuff. Um, so we did the metallurgic infusers. Oh, and I guess that we can actually make the, um, whatchamacallit, the, the upgrades and stuff now because we're gonna like actually sit here for a moment and actually dive into it. So what I'd like to make is the upgrades, <clears throat> the speed and the efficiency upgrades. I see a cut there, had to adjust myself again. I'm I, The thing, and I, I've gone over this before, it's gonna be a little bit slightly confusing is like these cables and all this stuff, but I'm not gonna use these cables. I'm gonna use the um, the power ones, but just the, the look of some of these things is just so confusing for me because I'm so used to like the alloys looking a certain way and things like that, but okay, so, um, what was I doing? Okay. Brain plus. <laughs> Brain plus. Why are you doing this to me? There they are. Okay, so infused alloy, reinforced alloy, atomic alloy. Boop, 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 boop. We need those. And then we're going to need uh, the energy tablets, but that's fine. I guess I don't remember. Is it this one that we need? Yeah, yeah, it's that. Okay. And then um, I need the cards. So I need the. Where are they? So speed upgrade, energy upgrade, and the, wait, was it speed and energy? Oh, okay, so energy is the efficiency one, right, 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 okay. <clears throat> I'm just kind of getting my, my bearings here. I do need chests and hoppers. Yes, we're doing chests and hoppers again for now. I know you guys absolutely hate it, but you'll be fine. So we're gonna do that for the metallurgic infusers, because those are gonna be a big thing right now. We're just going to stick our little bubbas here. Oh, you know what? What am I doing? I don't need them spaced like that. I need, um, yeah, like that. Okay. So here and here, and then we're going to go, <laughs> not like that, <laughs> like that, like that. Then doot, <clears throat> doot, doot, doot. Um, I'm not sure if these are like with the applied energistics and I have to tinker around with the settings on what goes in where, but we'll see. Because I know with the applied energistics, I was like, oh, you have to flip this and do this. But people are like, no, that was changed. So we'll see. We're actually going to take a look. Oh, this, they, they hold what they had in them. Oh, okay. Just going to dump that. So we're going to dump that. And then we're going to get our crusher set up because we're going to need that, I'm sure. Um, I can't remember if... Hmm. I do need cables. Cables, and then I need a point. <coughs> Oh my goodness. Throat, please. That there. So these should all be getting power now. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, what was the other thing that I needed for these? Um, so we'll get some redstone and iron going. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Redstone. Iron. Uh, oh, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so we want this. Okay, so. Okay. So bottom is output. Ooh, I love that they changed the looks. Oh my god, I love this. Okay, so this should...
Okay, so it's still doing the thing. There we go. So you have to put it to extra for whatever reason. And then we want this one to be... Oh, it's still doing that stupid thing, isn't it? Is it extra? No. There we go. Okay, there we go. So let me just set this up again. So it's yellow, red, red, blue. There we go. Okay. So, and I know there's like a way to copy over the configs and stuff like that, but... Uh... Okay. So now... What was the reinforced alloy again? That was infused alloy and diamond dust. And I did diamond dust in the crusher, right? Yes. So we need to make those upgrades though, because those are going to really be kicking our butts. I need gold dust, okay. So we have 11 of those. Speed upgrades, I need infused alloys, okay. I think you could do three, is it three per machine? But I know it really, really eats, um, I know it really, really eats, oh, right, this, this screen. It really eats. Oh, you can do eight. Okay. I guess I'll do three. So this should be the machines, right? Right, it should be on the machines, right? Yeah, so it's not even touching our power, which is great, but I still need to make more upgrades. I need more alloys. This should be going faster. So we got four of eight, so I need four more speed ones. Why do I have... Wait, why do I have this up here? I don't need this. Why did I have that up there? That... Why? That makes no sense. Brain, please. Uh, enrichment chamber. I do know I need that for something. Okay, so speed. So we need more infused alloys. I'm going to do redstone. Some more redstone. And then more iron. Oh man, it feels good to be back. And then we need stack upgrades for those. Let's do two. I need these eventually. I, oh my gosh, I don't know why the mechanism sounds are so satisfying. Okay. So now we need to take these, put those away. So speed upgrades. Oh my gosh, I hate when it does that. Okay, so now, oh yeah, she's zooming now. Definitely really good to have with power. Wait, why are you, okay. So now we need to make more energy upgrades. Need more infused alloys, that's fine. We got lots now. And then we'll put you in here. There we go. Now she bumping. 
Then we need to make more for this machine. Oh yeah. Look at that. Tasty, tasty. Okay, so let's go into our mechanism quest book. So now we can make the bigger tanks and stuff, which is nice. I've never really gotten into like the hydrogen and stuff like that as well. So that's going to be something fun to get into. So I'll grab those. Gonna make some more of these. Oh wait. Okay, so we have 14 of those. So we can stick them in here. Uh, we need to make two more of each. Okay. So now we're gonna take this and put that in there. Let's take a look at the next thing. Oh, we need to go and grab our, uh, we need to make refined, what was it? Refined uh, obsidian. So that's what the enrichment chamber was for, right? I think, am I remembering this correctly? Osmium compressor. Okay. What do we need the enrichment chamber for? I don't remember. It was for something, wasn't it? Was it for the dust? No, it wasn't for the dust. Am I going crazy? So need the diamond dust and the obsidian dust. Here. And then we need the osmium compressor. I need to take a look at the power and see um, just how much it's using because I remember that being really crazy. Is this a one? No, this is a two. Oh. So this is a. think that was correct, right? And then we need to do a cable. And then we need to do, what was it? <clears throat> Osmium. That should go in the bottom. Mm, no. Oh wait, that's the left. That's my right. Wait. Oh my God, I've been looking at this all wrong. Oh, cause I'm dumb. But that's the bottom though, right? Are they counting the... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's still not... Hmm. 
Or is it? Oh, okay. So it is, it is the right from the right from where you're looking because technically this is the left of the machine, but it's the right of where I'm looking. That's confusing. <laughs> that That's heckin' confusing. I'm not gonna lie, but okay. So, oh, yay. Okay. Okay, mechanism. You confusing, confusing mod. The sound! <laughs> oh my god, the sound. Why is that one so funny? That sound is so hilarious. I love that so much. And then we need to make more dust and stuff like that for that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be a busy bee making stuff. That's for sure. I need to make more stack upgrades. Do I really not have? Oh, okay. They they all kind of like have their own little their own little songs, you know. Oh yeah, right. The the, the update added copper copper upgrades. Forgot about that. They have like their own little little beats to them. It's so funny. <laughs> oh man. These all have yeah okay. That's funny. Okay, so we've got that going. Good, good, good. I thought I made energy tablets. Huh? Did I just not put it in my bag? There we go. Okay, so that's done. I need to make an energized smelter. This machine smelts items. It could be upgraded into a smelting factory, increasing the total number of smelting slots up to a maximum number of nine. Okay, so what was that called again? Max smelter or whatever? Smelter? Um, I probably should have saved it. Energized smelter, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna make a bunch of, I guess I can't make a bunch of steel casing. Okay, energized smelter done. Do I need to make more steel? Oh, I think I need to make more steel. That's why. Oh no, I don't. I have like a butt ton of osmium. What am I talking about? There we go. Lots of steel casings. Okay. We've got those done. Boop, boop, boop. Refined glowstone ingots. Osmium compressor. Glowstone and osmium. Okay. Let's get some glowstone. Oh, they're so pretty. It's like a like a pale peachy yellow. And that's done. Um, let's see. I made Robert. Wait, do I have to pick him up? Let's see. I didn't, I'm so sorry, Robert. How do I, how do I pick him up? How do I, how do I pick him up? <laughs> how do I pick him up? I'm so sorry, Robert. I'm so sorry, my little friend. Wait, how do I pick him up? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, teleport back home. Um, how do I pick him up? Wait. Where's my book? Where's my book? Oh, I don't think I have mechanism in here. Oh no, wait. Oh no. We need to get our mechanism book. 
Oh no, I have to redo the mechanism. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh no. Robin, I'm so sorry, I have to pick you up. I don't want to make another one just to get the quest. Where is my freaking mechanism book? Where, where is the mechanism book? It should be here somewhere, right? <clears throat> um, brain. Wait, is there no mechan? There has to be a mechanism book, please. Am I going crazy? I literally swore there was a mechanism book. And I'm probably just like not seeing it and you guys are like, it's right there. Hmm. It said somewhere like how to pick him up. But I don't remember where that was. Okie doke. I guess we're making another rabbit. Because I just, I literally don't know how to pick him up. Maybe I'll Google it? How to pick up rabbit. Mechanism. A configurator? A configurator? Ah, there we go. Thank you, Google. That's how you pick them up. A configurator. <laughs> Google coming in clutch again. <laughs> you can see it charging in my, my, my hot bar. There's Robit. Oh, a configurator was one of them anyways. I guess I could have read that. Um, custom portals. To create a custom portal, place down a single teleporter block, connect power to the block, create a portal frame with the teleporter block being the base of the portal. The final product will be a 4x3 portal structure with the two blocks in the middle creating the portal. Ooh. Teleporting? Interesting. I mean, we have waystones, but... It seems like another fun way of teleporting. <clears throat> oh, good gravy. So we need to do these two. What do we need for these? Okay, so we have this. Teleportation core. I need to make atomic alloys. Okay, so refined obsidian and reinforced alloy. Reinforced alloy is diamond dust and infused alloy. Okay. Um... Diamond dust infused alloy. I should have all of that, right? Right? We just made some of that, right? Right, 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 right. Wait. I should be able to make that, no? Yeah. So this, and then this. Oh no! Did I make a boo-boo and I turned them all into ingots? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, I did. Because I am big brain. That has all the upgrades, right? Yeah. And then this is this and this, right? Wait. Wait. No, wait. What am I? Oh, wait. 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 What am I doing wrong? Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? Yeah. Refined obsidian and reinforced alloy. Reinforced alloy. Refined obsidian. There we go. Okay. Oops. So one of these. Okay, that's done. Cool beans. Digital miner. 
a bigger robot friend. This machine can mine for you. It is completely configurable, and you can even replace mined blocks with cobblestone or whatever block you provide it with. Ooh. Ooh. He's so cute. I, do, I have to make another robot anyways. Oh, dang it. Okay. Uh, I need to make another one of these. I need to make two of these. I need to make more of those. Okay. To make another robot digital miner let's see what this guy looks like whoa whoa i mean i guess he was charging in my inventory that's so cool we're definitely gonna have to like go through and kind of um like figure out how to use these and incorporate these because a lot of things like are done with like the chunk destroyer and things like that but i mean it's still kind of cool to have other options like that which i i really 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 enjoy that's really cool okay so quantum entangle porter <laughs> that name <laughs> that name will forever make me giggle this item is how you make wireless transfers possible. You can set specific channels named by you to transfer whatever you want. Ooh, so wait, is this gonna be good if I wanna, okay, hold on. Let's put this on the list. Quantum entangle porter. <laughs> uh, see if I can transfer stuff from Chunk Destroyer. I'll have to like kind of look into that, but is that is that a way to to do that then like to transfer things from the oh the control circuits oh i forgot about that um is that a way to transfer things from like my chunk destroyer you know to the overworld and stuff like that okay i need to make these i need to make more infused alloys first i should have a bunch of those now right oh my god yeah like 700 of them good grief um, and then I need to make more reinforced alloys, which was what? Diamond dust. This was the super grindy stuff with mechan- oh, with mechanism that I, uh, I remember. I remember well. So I need to make a bunch of those. And then this was, while we wait, we'll do refined obsidian dust as well. I might have to make another crusher, I think. Because for this we need... Wait, what's enriched obsidian again? Oh, that's what the original... Oh, I still need refined obsidian dust anyways, so whatever. <clears throat> Diamond dust and obsidian dust for that, okay. Oh man, this is, oh, I, I, I love that I babbled about trees for so long, but it's just like, I don't know. I was so excited to see that that was added. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do some more of this mechanism stuff. And then the next time we will definitely go deeper into the other things that I mentioned. Okay, so what was the next thing again? Reinforced alloys. So it was, oh, I need more iron. Oops. And CC teased me about like going all over the place. Yes, I know, I do. I go literally all over the place. Wait, I don't want to waste this refined obsidian. Uh, reinforced alloys. I don't have any more reinforced alloys. Oh no, I'm gonna have to waste it. Oh well, bye. And then it was... Infused alloys. ba -bam.
I would really love if it, oh my gosh, okay. To make more of these while we wait. But we kind of can't. I might have to make another crusher. Because, um, yeah. Just gonna make more sense. And then we can stick that probably actually right here. Oh, I forgot the update makes it so those uh, stack. Oh crap, I forgot about that. So now your your um, your sophisticated storage chest will stack, which is wild. Like stack in the sense like it'll go into a double. Uh, so this was red, red, blue, blue. Oh. Wait, it's taking input from no, off, none. There we go. And then I need to make more of these. Oops, I just made one too many. Oh, it's trippy when it's more than, oh gosh. That sound is so trippy. Oh, it turned them into acacia ones, bleh. Okay, uh, so now I need the dust and the osmium ingots, but I need to make more of the dust. Which was the metallurgic infuser, diamond dust, obsidian. It's definitely a lot more trippy when it's two going at the same time. I just want to get this quantum entangle 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 porter done. So what did I need for that again? Okay, I need to make one more of these. I need two ultimate control circuits. There we go. Wait, no, now I need two more atomic alloys. Oh my gosh. That's their find ups. Okay, alloy. Take that out. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, yes, I did. Never mind. I did. I did mean to do that. There we go. Quantum entangle port to door to door to door to door. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, look at the little thing inside. Oh, that's so neat. Look at it. It's so cool. Oh, you're so cute. Okay. All right. So we've got, oh, actually, maybe we'll do these two because I want to finish the section here. Let's see what we need for those. So we need for the jetpack, we need a chemical tank. Okay, bam, jetpack. Atomic disassembler. Oh, Aldamadi and pickaxe, okay. Energy tablet, okay. 
Nice. So the atomic disassembler, it said what it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. All in one tool. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Guess we're definitely going to have to do some reading into what these do. I mean, well, I know what the jetpack does, but what the, the disassembler does. Huh. A little confused. It's really cool looking, though. God, mechanism God, it, it just it's so cyberpunky spacey and i love it it just it's so cool looking i'm absolutely in love with it all right everyone thank you so much for watching it was a little bit of a shorter episode and um we definitely were all over the place but unfortunately i was not feeling good today but if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like on it subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one goodbye